Hi guys, this is General Farmer. I'm going to do an episode here where I go check out some underwater ruins that I found and a ruined portal that I found underwater near my base. Um, and then also we're going to do a little bit of so treasure map hunting. Let's see what's in this chest. So enjoy. Oh, that's weird. <coughs> So we go in here, we recover our breath. All right, but there's obsidian. I don't see much. Oh, there's a gold. I was about to say, I don't see anything else here I want, but I certainly want gold. And you can see my, uh, what do you call it? Respiration is really helping. Very little breath being used. I'm going to take this chest too while I'm here. Alright. Like that. Uh, there's a few other things there, but I don't care a lot about them, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. I mostly wanted to see what was in that chest. Let's go back and check out this shrine. There may be others. A lot of times these shrines generate in groups. Um, I'm not seeing one right now, but I'm going to switch to that. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, these are very, there we go, very frequently protected by there we go. Uh, by drowns, whoops. And Uh, drowns really are not that much of a danger, I find, unless they have tridents. The ones with tridents are horrible, but there is a small chance you'll get the trident, which is extremely rare and awesome. Um, so, oh yeah, there's definitely more ruins down here. You can see a bunch of other ruins. There's like a little ruined village. Oh, somebody's got a trident. Who's got it? Yeah, so the trick is to avoid this guy. Uh, not avoid him, but avoid letting him hit you with a trident. So, ouch, who's hitting me? Somebody's still hitting me with a trident. Oh, no he's not, I'm sorry, I'm drowning. I just realized. I forgot I can't breathe down here enough indefinitely. All right. So, let's see the carrot. Dive down again. Let's see, I've got a door. I'm gonna put that right here. Put that door right there. I can refresh my breath occasionally. All right. Whoops, darn it. I switched my, okay. So, these shrines are actually, you see there. Um, I don't really care about the wheat. I've got plenty of my own wheat. I'll go down here, get my breath back. Um, the other thing about these shrines is, to my knowledge, there is always a chest somewhere. So if you're not finding it, there we go. And frequently a buried measure treasure map. Uh -huh. Look at that. That's kind of hilarious. That drown was standing on a magma block. Oh. So let's see. Did we get the one out of there? I think we got that one already. There's one too. There's a shrine over here. Getting these things. Where'd that drown go? Um, if the magma blocks start to get you, the trick is to just swim sideways because you can swim out of the current and they won't get you anymore. Um, oh, I want that. 
Um, I actually have a conduit because one of the things when we get around to taking that uh, treasure map, you'll find every treasure has a heart of the sea in it, any treasure chest, anyway, hidden treasure chest that you find has a heart of the sea in it. And those, let's see, did we get that? Is that the one we already got? Yeah, that's the one we already got. Um, the heart of the seas Oh, there's a trident wielding. Let's go get him. Nobody's dropping their tridents today. Well, that's all right. I mean, that's fairly typical. It's a shame, but uh, they don't often drop their tridents. But as you can see, you do have to be careful about um, Remembering that you have to breathe occasionally. If you have respiration, it's easy to lose track and really forget that you have to breathe. All right. um, what I was going to say was, in order to use a... Uh, part of the sea, you need... Prismarine, prismarine blocks, and uh, sea lanterns. So, normally the only way of getting those is uh, to find uh, ocean monuments, but you can find a few in things like this. And so, what I'm kind of hoping is that I can uh, I'm kind of hoping that I can find a I think I'm gonna be done here I may have exhausted these. Uh, there is a ravine there, which are kind of worth seeing. Maybe uh, let me go up and breathe. Let's see, my bubbles are getting low. Uh, if you can see the bubbles in the upper right corner there. So down here is a ravine, and they are awesome in that they usually expose resources. Uh, there's some iron. Sometimes if they go deep enough, you'll see diamonds and redstone and other valuable stuff. Um, I don't see any of that right now. Not, let me see if I got this one. But, after I check out this one, if, uh, yeah, I've already gotten that. I think I'm going to be done. Oh, there's something in there. Is there a sea lantern or did I hang a torch? Where is that light coming from? Oh, it must just be coming from that magma. That's weird. Okay, so I think we're done for now. I'm gonna go up and uh, if I what I might do next is show you how to follow one of these treasure maps. So, there's a treasure map. Let's see if this is the same one. Yep, it's the same one. So if you see that little dot, um, it's showing the X, which is to our west on the map. I'm sorry, that way is west. So we need to go west, but then you see we're just a dot, so we need to go slightly north too. Oh, excuse me, little man. There's a drown come to say goodbye to us. Um, so what it looks like is we need to go northwest and until we appear on that, uh, whoops, did I go the wrong way? No, this is west. We need to go northwest until we start appearing on that map. 
Um, and when we become a, like a little cursor, that means we're getting close enough. I'm sorry. I'm saying west, but I'm I'm saying west, but I should be going east. All right. Don't tell anyone that I got my cardinal directions mixed up there because that was embarrassing. All right. So we need to go east and slightly north. Um, and these maps are not usually to somewhere that's really far off, so it's very possible that we're over here. Hopefully not that one that the creeper's standing on. Um, oh. Nope, so if you see now, we're a little cursor, so we'll turn to face that. Um, and these treasure maps are under... Um, usually under sand or gravel. Um, I think what I might do is go over to our little island, which was there, right? And sleep, um, if I can. I might have to fight a few mobs. Let's see some spiders. There's some more spiders. There's some stuff down there. I'm hoping we won't have to fight a ridiculous amount of stuff in order to get uh, a night's sleep here. And, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but zombies and things will actually stomp on turtle eggs. They're a lure, so what you may see is that some uh, zombies come Oh, I see the sun is coming up, so that's a good. That'll make. And they're far enough away we can sleep. The sun comes up, it's going to start burning these guys. Except that skeleton has a helmet on. You see? And skeletons. Whoops, he despawned, so that's good. Um, helmets actually protect undead. If they're wearing a helmet, it will actually protect them from dying in the sunlight and also uh, standing under the shade of a tree will help them. Well, that was exciting. I didn't mean for that to happen. There we go. So let's see, what do we not need? We don't need that. Let's pick up this gunpowder because I would like to get some TNT eventually to make a Let's see, I thought I had a, uh, I guess I didn't. And uh, so let's go find this. Uh, oops. You go west a little bit, north a little bit. I think it's going to be over here on the edge of this sandbar. Oops, sorry. Right there. And then these things can be deceptive, so here we go. So I'm going to show you how I like to do them. Um, if you get the map in your other hand, you can actually walk along until... Uh, you are just, looks like it's right under this turtle, until your little cursor is right under that with just your nose peeking out. And that's what I find is, uh, the way to find. Now what I'm doing is mining up all this sand. There we go. 
All right, so there's a heart of the sea, several emeralds, prismarine, iron, keeping an eye on my bubbles, gold, cooked salmon, cooked cod. All right, and I will take the chest too. And that, my friends, is how you locate a treasure chest, a buried treasure. And I think with that, I am going to end this video. And I'm going to head home, uh, consolidate my ill-gotten gains. I'm trying to remember what I left out here. Let me go. Because I feel like it was some important stuff that I didn't want to lose, which is why I left it. Whoops, wrong way. Let's get all these things back. All right. Um, actually, let's get that back too while we're here. And we will head home. Thank you for watching, guys. And gals. That's going to be it for this episode, everybody. Thanks for watching.